In the goal, number 13, Owen Gaffney in the midfield. Number 14, Colin Bergstrom, a close defense. Teddy Malone at attack. Number 26, number 27, Miles Botkus in the midfield. Number 34, Tommy Martinson with a pole. Number 41, Andrew Perry in the midfield. We'll get you the matchups and the lines as we get going, but that's a big ground ball for number 33. That's Brendan Staub, the first year from Garden City for Cornell. Everyone's eyes are going. Here's the goal. It beats Barner to the offside high. Quick to match up here again. You see the coaches going over it on the sideline with Guest and Jaeger. Big face off. There's a pop. That's Cornell who's going to come out with it. That's Angelo Petrakis. This face off monster for Cornell is two headed. And here's the big possession. I've been talking about it all year. The strength of the Harvard team is here. I'm sure there are a lot of Piatelli fans in the audience. Face off. That's the second phase. That's Jack Cascadden. Part of that monster. And there's a short side goal, near side high. That's number 26. Again, Brian Piatelli. And he looks right to the crowd, and a lot of the red is rising. 3 0 Cornell. They exploded here in the first four minutes of the game. Timeout for Coach Byrne. This gives us a chance to go over that Cornell starting lineup here. We'll get that for Andrew O'Berry. And going down to take the face off is Andrew De Janeiro. Ball comes out to Cornell. That's number 28. Petrakis, Angelo Petrakis. And you see the immediate substitutions. Oh, here on the jo on Jordan Field. Whistle there against number, well, actually charge. Two to one on the scoreboard, just about to pass into the seven minute mark. Cornell with a face off win, but Sam King gains possession. First time we've said Teddy Malone's name all the way well out on top of everybody else. Harvard's got that one vote. I'm not sure who did that, but here's your face off, and it's been a great battle so far. Harvard gets out, sorry, Harvard gets down three nothing quick but spends that rest of that first quarter fighting back. And it is a 3-2 match up here. Harvard able to corral that first face off. No penalties so far, but here's Andrew Perry, number 41, coming out of Rhode Island from Moses. Harvard now looking to stem the tide. That's a big goal. It had been kind of a quiet last five, six, seven minutes of lacrosse as far as the scoreboard is concerned. Another face-off win for Cornell. That's number 20, Jack Cascadden. This face-off unit, the unit, not just the face-off guys, has done such a great job. So four to three, Crimson really needed that, and this crowd is coming alive. In the second quarter, number four, Cornell Big Red. Here's your face-off, Petrakis. I don't know if that shot actually got all the way to the goal. It looked like Barner might have gotten it low, but that's a great rebound save off the Petrakis attempt. Officials are ready to go. You can see the thing over their head that says, cameraman, let's rock and roll. Going to give a quick shout out to our camera people. Aaron O'Brien and Ida Shakiri are our camera operators. And yes, I do want to give them a shout out because they have done a great job so far. Here's this early possession off the first four. Second goal of the game for Andrew Perry. And those are two just absolute bombs he's thrown at the cage. That's his second one that Chase Erlin just didn't even see. You can see the hustle and the enthusiasm. The intensity is picked up on that ground ball on the near side. Looks like that interference call. Ball's coming to Colin Bergstrom. CJ Kirsch trying to find out what happened there with the official. Great throwback to the old school alley dodging by CJ Kirsch and great finish by the Cornell offense that really needed to find some momentum. And this might be the first time we've said this all day. Harvard with the face off win. And here you go, Graham Blake. On Here's the face off. That's Petrakis in there. Can Harvard come out with this? That's number 46. Martin Nelson in there with the scramble. 
keeping it alive, and Nelson comes up with it. Harvard is off and running. He hits the ground, but can they collapse this ground ball? Gavin Adler with the ground ball that Cornell needed to get. Short time here, 50 seconds. What are the Cornell going to do? And take a shot they did. Christian Barnard, big save and massive ground ball. Can the Harvard Crimson collect it? Wow. Push, push, push. And here's Sam King. They got a three on two here if they push. What are we going to do here, Teddy Malone? Ooh, Chase Earl Ross nerdish type game. If you're into watching players play with their strong off hands to get weak, strong handed shots and really watch programs grind. But Coach Busick, Coach Byrne couldn't be more proud of the effort. This is definitely a early 12 53 in the fourth quarter. Petrakis, and there's your chase down is De Janeiro, and here's another big opportunity. Number nine for Harvard. That's Andrew O'Berry. I've said it all season. These four defensive short sticks, and now we can throw a day. Complete here at Harvard. Crimson find themselves up by three, eight to five. Ooh, that's a tough push. Harvard's got to watch those. That's what's going to let Cornell back in the game. That's Matt Barocco. It's the face-off for Cornell that's going to be the biggest impact, I think, the possessions. Cornell coaches, you know, he's the oldest one. He graduated in 2015. How are they able to do what they do? Went to the finals, sun's out. I have to imagine this is close to 50, as close to the hottest as it's going to get today. What a game this is. 6.45 on the clock. Harvard's up by one in the fourth quarter and how about that ground ball that's cornell's number 50 with a huge ball walker wallace great camera work again thank you and here's the face off reset everyone's ready to go this is a, I mean, an amazing final 429 here in cambridge massachusetts on the campus of harvard university jordan fields face off win we've said that all day for cornell that's number 20, Jack Cascan. Face off win again, Angelo Petrakis. Fantastic, Dirth, O'Berry, Guest, Dawson. They've all had an impact on the game today with a couple goals and it's only a two goal lead so far with 2.11 on the clock for Harvard. Ground ball, that's a face off victory. Up by two though, Campisi just wants to buy time and not do anything too crazy. Cornell steps into the box, cursed. Boom, drops the stick low to high, 154 on the 